Hey crocheters, welcome to Pops to Milk Crochet, where I share patterns, tutorials, and inspiration. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to crochet a pair of super cute and fun watermelon earrings, the perfect accessory to wear to a summer barbecue. Alright, let's make some tiny watermelons. You'll need crochet thread. I'm using Aunt Lydia's crochet thread size 10 and a 1.5 millimeter crochet hook. Starting with red, in row 1, I'm going to make a magic ring and work 3 single crochet into the ring. Then turn, and in row 2, I'll make a chain and work single crochet stitches into each stitch and turn at the end. In row 3, I'll chain 1, make 2 single crochet in the first stitch, then make 1 single crochet in the next stitch, and I'll repeat that sequence across, then turn at the end. I'll start row 4 with a chain, then I'll make 2 single crochet stitches in the first stitch, followed by a single crochet in the next 2 stitches, and I'll repeat that sequence across and turn at the end. Next up in row 5, I'll make a chain and work 2 single crochet into the first stitch, then make 1 single crochet into the next 3 stitches, and I'll repeat that sequence across and turn at the end. In row 6, I'll make a chain, and then 2 single crochet into the first stitch, and then 1 single crochet in the next 4 stitches, and I'll repeat that to the end. And at the end of this row, I'm going to switch to the off-white for the natural color thread and turn. Thank you. 
Next in row 7, I'll chain 1, make 2 single crochet in the first stitch, then I'll make 1 single crochet in the next 5 stitches, and I'll repeat that across, and at the end of this row, I'll switch to the green thread. At this point, I'm going to cut the yarn on the red thread and off-white colors so it's easier to work on this tiny watermelon. Then, in the last row, I'm going to chain one, work two single crochet into the first stitch, and work a single crochet in the next six stitches, and I'll repeat that to the end of the row. Now I'll cut the yarn, making sure to leave a long tail for sewing. Next I need to make three more of these tiny watermelons, so I'm going to work on those and meet you back when I'm ready to start sewing. Alright, I've got my four watermelons for each earring, and I'm going to take two watermelons and sew them together. This is optional, but I decided to cut out some foam pieces to sandwich them in between the watermelon pieces so that the earrings hold their shape a little better. You can also use felt or plastic canvas, just be sure to use something that's very lightweight since this will be hanging from your ears. I'm going to use an embroidery needle to sew the pieces together, trying to keep the stitches aligned for a nice and even finish. I'm starting by sewing the green stitches first, and then I'll have a little sleeve in which to put the foam cut out.
Okay, I've got my little watermelon pocket, but before I add the foam and finish sewing, I'm going to take some black thread and embroider some seeds on the outside of both the watermelon pieces. Here are the watermelons all stitched up and almost ready. The last thing I'm going to do is add the actual earring hook. I got a jewelry making kit off Amazon that came with rings and earring hooks and this handy little ring tool that helps you hold a split ring while you open them. This kit also came with pliers which you will also need to secure everything in place. And there you have it, the cutest little crochet watermelons turned into earrings. I cannot handle how cute these are and I love how they turned out. I hope you enjoyed this pattern and would love to know what you think of these earrings. Would you wear watermelon earrings? Let me know in the comments. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel and I will see you in the next video.